Hello everyone, Pally Time here with TGN.TV. This is a continuation of my Nightmare Difficulty Guides for Orcs Must Die 2. We are on Wind Up today, and I'm just going to say right now, this is probably the easiest level in the game, other than the first level, <laughs> or the first couple levels. Uh, this is the second to last level. There's only one more level after this, I think. And uh, this one's really, 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 really easy. Your hardest rounds are going to be the first few. Uh, as you can see, I drop down. I'm at the uh, eastern entrance here, and I'm going to set up most of my stuff here. But the stuff I'm using, the blunderbuss, the upgrades are totally insignificant. The dwarven hammer with the whirlwind upgrade, as well as the damage reduction to uh, yourself while whirlwinding. We have the ice amulet with the left click upgrade on the spread, and the right click upgrade to do more damage to frozen targets. The tar with the reduced cost and the improved slow. The swinging maces with the increased damage and faster swing time. Arrow walls with damage increase and flame arrows. Brimstone with the uh, more targets can be burned and it heats up faster. The decoy with the increased health and freezing of targets or chilling and chance of freeze on targets as well as the mana rage and healing trinket both fully upgraded. First thing we're going to do, take our clockwork maces and just line this area with them. We're going to make this our first kill box, and it's going to take care of itself for the rest of the game after we're done. And uh, we're going to do this in several different places, and it's the easiest thing ever, I promise. I promise if you follow this guide that you will beat this level probably on your first try. Normally I do a few test runs of these maps just to make sure I have everything down. Uh, I cleared it on my first try. Let's go! First try. First time out of the gate. First time seeing it on Nightmare. Cleared it first try. So uh, hopefully you guys don't really need this guide. But it's here if you do. So at the beginning of the game, you're going to have these Cobalt Runners spawn from the top entrance. Just run back with them. Pick them off with your blunderbuss. When they group up, do a little whirlwind action. And uh, after you clear them out, you're golden. You beat the first round. Congratulations. Just uh, whirlwind when you can. Remember, there's going to be a lot of enemies coming out in this first round. So use your shotgun or your blunderbuss, whatever you want to call it. Use it when uh, you're running low on mana. You can kite things back. You have about six miles of kiting room on this top entrance here. And everything should be fine. I also have my mana rage trinket if I need it. I don't think I'm going to need it this early on. Most stuff can be taken care of with just uh, whirlwinding when mana is available as well as the shotgun. Remember, you have all day to kite. I'm, I'm not even ha well, I'm about halfway to the rift right now. Not even worried about it. Probably would have been nice to increase the damage on this, though. You know. Hindsight, 2012. Uh, tw 2012, 2020. Hindsight, 2020. It's the year 2012. Wow. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm recording this at about 4 in the morning. <laughs> I, uh, I woke up at noon and decided that I wasn't going to sleep again, apparently. My body told me this. Alright, so this is the first round all cleared up. I'm just going to save my mana, getting ready for the second round. Par is not very demanding at all, so don't be afraid of, of time restraints. Time restraints are not a very big deal at all. And that is cleared up. So we're going to run back to the east entrance, and I'm going to continue oh, to lay down to tar. Uh, just, just, just get full tar way. coverage, like that. I'm going to freeze this, coal, or this Null Hunter. Now you're going to have to run to the south entrance and deal with everything yourself. Uh, that being said, I think it was these seven orcs and that's it. Like, literally that's it. And and that side's done. I'm going to watch this side just to make sure everything's, everything's good. Uh, honestly, I think it is. So I'm going to run up and start to deal with the stuff coming from the top entrance. Keep an eye on my mini-map just to be safe. Yeah. Yeah, the east side already taking care of itself. Alright, so we just got the sapper warning, so I'm going to start to back up, just kite. It's going to be a few seconds before they get here, it's not urgent. Uh, I definitely shouldn't have picked up that mana potion there. Alright, sappers are in, so I'm going to start to run backwards. And as they run around the corner, I'm just going to pick them off. There's a few more. And that should be all the sappers. Now go back to spinning. Clean up these guys, no problem. 
Again, you always want to be near the south entrance because you're always going to have to defend that manually. Now to lock this place down over here even more, I'm going to add a decoy onto last the last set of tar traps see. and add in one row of the brimstone. That's going to make sure we're, we're guarded from cobalt runners that may come out of that entrance. Now the east side is done. You're never going to have to look at it again. It's, it's done. It's, fi it's finished. It's going to take care of itself for the rest of the game. So now that I cleaned up the south entrance, which is always a very small and insignificant wave of enemies, I'm going to run up and start to deal with this top entrance again. You can see there, just coming out of the walkway, is a magic ogre. Uh, those things have like homing missile type attacks on them. So I'm going to do my best to just stay around this corner and wait for them to come to me. And as with every ogre, the best way to deal with them is to freeze them and uh, take them out with your hammer. Now, there was a shaman right behind that one. I killed it, no problem. Gonna run down to the south entrance and start to lay down some tar. There's not gonna be any en any enemies coming out of this entrance. I'm sorry, I'm stumbling over words. Uh, it's a little late. Try this on for size. But, just gonna lay down tar, get some protection, and uh, run back up to the top. Uh, wave four and wave seven only have enemies coming out of the top. I actually made a mental note this early in the morning and it, and it stuck. I'm pretty impressed with myself all of a sudden. And again, spinning, winning. That's all you need to do. This is a very, very... I'm, I'm really amazed how easy this level is. Especially this late in the game. I really thought the difficulty was going to ramp up a lot. And again, just spin until the sappers get here. They're going to ruin your party. So then you just want to fall back, use your shotgun, take them out as they come in range. Try not to miss like me. Wasn't very many sappers this time, it looks like five or six total. Yeah, it looks like that's all, all the sappers. Round four, incredibly easy. Incredibly easy. That's a lot of dead orcs. Most of your time spent on this map is just going to be cleaning up these guys who are slower than the rest. Who got tied up on something. Yes. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and lay down some brimstone. Party starting, and you're all down away. here. Ooh, shiny. At the south entrance, sorry. I probably should, should specify that. Like I said, I'm tired. Give me some slack. This level's not hard. As long as you put traps in places, you should beat this level just fine. As long as there are traps on the map somewhere, you'll beat this level. You see this side taking care of itself perfectly. Ogre didn't even do a thing. Nothing to be worried about. Alright, I did spend a lot of time looking at that ogre, though. And we do have Cobalt Runners coming in, so... I should definitely not have been so uh, complacent with my time. But, uh, round 5, you're going to have Cobalt Runners coming from the top. Uh, you can get them in choke points like this pretty easy. Just start spinning. You'll kill the majority of them. The ones you don't, just take out with your shotgun. Don't you dare! Don't you dare ruin my video, you little cobalt runner. <laughs> that was close. That's a uh, perfect example of me not paying attention and almost losing. Again, if you were paying attention, after you would clean up the south entrance, you would just run to the north entrance, and uh, none of those guys would have even remotely gotten close. It was me just sitting there staring at the ogre that allowed them to gain ground on me. We have a troll coming in. I have plenty of mana. So I'm just going to freeze, spin, clean up the rest of these orcs. We're going to freeze again. Get three swings in, and then you want to jump back and freeze. And then you can do an additional three swings if it came to that. Alright, go back to the south entrance. In round six, it looks like we have some... Just just some ogres coming out of the south entrance. One of these waves, there will be uh, kobold runners. That's kind of why we're, pre we're prepared for that as much as we are. That side's going to take care of itself just fine. I'm going to run up to the top and start to fortify the north entrance a little bit. When you kill them all at once. Freeze the ogre. Or I guess it's a cyclops or something. Looks like an ogre. It's a magic ogre. I'm okay with that description. Uh, 
Um, there's a guy left alive on the stairs. I'm gonna let him go for a second. Sometimes I almost Start to set up my traps. Except, not really. <laughs> All right, go to the south entrance. Make sure nothing gets by. Let's go. Nothing even spawning. Round seven is only from the top. I already stated that. I made a mental note, remembered the mental note, and then forgot the mental note. Good. We have Cobalt Runners coming from the top in round seven. Looks like one guy by me, so I'm going to chase him down. A really good place to set up to kill these guys with your hammer is just right here. They all have to clump up to come down the stairs and go through this archway. And uh, really, really easy to pick them off if, if they do end up getting by you. But I'm going to try to push these guys back to my traps and reinforce those a little bit more. Since I have a little bit of time. Looks like one got by. Gonna kill that shaman so she can't uh, resurrect anyone. One, two, Grab this mana five, potion. Conveniently one, placed one, mana potion, I might add. Yeah. Alright, I'm not gonna bother laying down more Let's traps. Roll. I wanna make sure I'm ready to go at the south entrance. Just because there's not a lot of traps here, you wanna always make sure that you're here, ready to defend it. Doesn't really matter what's going on in the rest of the map. You have plenty of time to deal with everything, but this the south entrance is the only thing that's going to require our attention. All right, dealt with. East side is going to be fine. Don't have to worry about that for the rest of the game. And coming down the stairs now, we have sappers from the north entrance. And those are all dealt with. You can see there's no sense of urgency in my voice whatsoever. Very, 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 very simple and easy map. Alright, so I'm up here. Uh, time to reinforce some of this. I'm going to go ahead and freeze that ogre to buy myself a little time to do that. You stay right there. You stay right there, troll. I just called you an ogre. That's fine. Just adding in a 2x2 two two of tar down the middle. You don't need to add any more than that. And then I'm going to reinforce that with some arrow walls. Take this guy out. Remember, three swings, jump backs, freeze again. Alright, get back down to the south entrance. Crossbow orcs coming out this time. Round 9 out of 12. Such an exciting level. Oh man. If I ever needed extra money, I guess I could come over here and get it. It's just been sitting here waiting on me the whole game. <laughs> it's been there the whole time. And you can see our traps on the mini-map doing a damn good job of keeping most of that stuff back. Some stuff is going to slip by. It's not totally fortified. That's not a problem. Go up here in Warwind. Add in more arrow walls. Sometimes I almost feel bad for the orcs. Except not really. Oh, just look how effective this is. It's incredible. And again, we can reinforce this a little bit more by adding a decoy in right here. And adding in arrow walls right behind said decoy. Alright, back down to the south entrance. Treat time. Mouse got a little funky there. Didn't want to move. Ah, here are the kobolds. So we have kobold runners and uh, two mages. Two of the cyclops eye. Cyclops eyes. Taken care of. Nothing else spawning out of the back except for that shaman. Now we can go up top and watch him kill everything. If you wanted to spend more money, uh, you could add in arrow walls back here. Uh, I'm not going to. I'm going to reinforce this because why not? Clearly, clearly we need more Step help right this way, on this map, orc. clearly. Stabbing time. What's spawning out of the south for us this time? We have crossbow orcs and kobold runners, round 11 out of 12. Dealt with. Oh, we have a second wave. Look at that. Look at that second wave. Acting like they're going to do something. I'll just leave them alone. East side taking care of itself still. South side just fine with those traps that we just added. Let's go check the top. 
How you guys doing up here? Doing good. All right. Well, I guess I'm not needed anymore. I will uh, I'll go back down here. Oh my god, I almost fell in lava because my mouse is acting all funky. Looking good. That would have been kind of hilarious. That's about the only way I could die at this point. Reinforce this with a little brimstone, and we have completed the level. There's one more round, there, but it, I mean, we're so fortified at this point that nothing's going to get through anything here. I mean, look at this. It's a fire ogre running through fire, and we still had enough to kill him. No problem whatsoever. Now that troll actually might be an issue. Cobalt Runner would have died. Let's go ahead and throw a decoy down. Let's see. Let's just see if we can kill that troll without him leaving. He's pretty beefy. I'm not sure. Nope. Troll's good. Troll's dead. Let's go check up top, shall we? Shall we see what's going on up there? Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. Crossbow orc snuck by. Well, let's burn his feet. We'll just burn his feet. You gonna die from that? You come down here so I can burn your feet again. <laughs> All right, guys, an incredibly easy level. Uh, we're moving on to the last level in the game after this, so I hope you guys are looking forward to that. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button below. Leave me a comment down below as well. I will be, I will be back uh, shortly with another video. I might get some sleep first so I can actually put sentences together. Uh, I will see you guys soon. Okay, bye.